Hey there. We're going to try another OS for this Raspberry Pi. This one is Ubuntu Mate. If you're asking, the Raspberry Pi is there. It's there inside that Argon 1 case. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, 4 gigs of RAM. When you first start up Ubuntu Mate with the Raspberry Pi, you're greeted with this welcome screen. Down here, I recommend you uh, keep this checked until you're comfortable with the operating system. It uh, walks you through a lot of the starter functions. For example, here you've got the introduction. Here you can go over the features. Good place to get started, as it says, getting started. Yeah, and everyone, and even me, wants to see. This is the software boutique. This is where you go when you want to get apps for your Raspberry Pi, your uh, Ubuntu Monte OS. I'm going to take a few moments just to glance through these, what I would call categories. Spend a little time here. You might be impressed at what's available. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, now might be a good time to hit that subscribe button. And look at this, you've even got a shop. And I gotta tell you, this coffee mug looks pretty cool. I mean, doesn't it? And here you're gonna find some information about the Raspberry Pi. And here's something else that everyone likes. You can uh, change the theme. Obviously you can scroll up and down here. You get some choices, backgrounds. Fonts. Interface. And here you can choose your desktop layout. You know, the Malcolm Scream does make it easy to get started. Well, to me, one of the most important apps in an operating system is its web browser. Here we are using Firefox. You know, I recommend before you actually take the step into uh, exploring any uh, operating system is go to that operating system's webpage and investigate what they have. Get to know it before you install it. Ah, you see this here at the bottom of this page? They're referencing the Raspberry Pi. Now just jump to the downloads page. You can see what versions are available. Uh, you got some requirements here. And if you look a little bit further down, Raspberry Pi requirements. So next, let's have a look at some of the apps that are available. You know, when you scroll through this, you can tell there's quite a few apps already installed to get you started. I'm gonna take a little tour at these apps just to see what catches my attention. If you're new, this is important to know. This is where you're going to find the uh, access to the welcome window we saw at the beginning of the video. So did you see that? I didn't close the welcome window out. I clicked on one of these boxes down here in the lower right. All right, well, here's where you find Firefox. And yeah, I get it. We've already seen the Firefox browser, but as you may have guessed, we're going somewhere with this, so stick around. Okay, I'm going to click another one of these boxes at the bottom right and open up another window. Libra Office Writer. And let's open up another app.
Okay, you know what? Let's open the firewall. Everyone likes to see where that's located. And once you've keyed in your password, you can click here to enable or disable the firewall. Okay, so we've got a number of windows open. What this is called is called the workspace switcher. As you see here, I'm clicking on the lower right. As you can see here, I'm just switching through multiple workspaces. Here we've got two windows open in the same workspace. If you drag and drop one to the center left and drag the other to the center right, you will get a split screen usage. Drag a window to the center, you get full screen usage. Now, try it with four open windows. If you drag each window to a separate corner, you'll split the screen usage in two quarters. And, if you would like, you could split that screen into two quarters and a half screen. And here's the control center. This is very useful to know. Again, the firewall. Control center is broken into groups. Here's administration, hardware, internet and network, look and feel, personal, and you bet, change theme. and set preferred applications. Well, there you have it. Uh, we had a very high level walk around of the Ubuntu Mate for Raspberry Pi. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I enjoy making these videos. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons and remember to tell your friends. And as always, thank you for watching.